Hello, my name is Brett McLemore, and I'm here with Don McLemore, Lynn McLemore, and Trevor McLemore to do an interview about third grade classroom using games. Um, and I wanted to know what their idea of this is. So Don, what do you think about implementing games in a third grade classroom? Brett, I think it's a great idea. Anytime you can take a young mind and stimulate it, that other than just simple tasks that you normally would think third graders would do, I think it's a wonderful idea. Are you talking about games such as, say, Jeopardy, something with some really, uh, I guess, uh, far-reaching questions that they may not know, but by trial and error they'll learn the answers to? Exactly. Some sort of game just like that. Uh, but it is strictly for online work and technology based. Okay, so being online, this is something that uh, you can reach out to social media so you can expand on it, not just in one particular classroom, you're talking a multitude of classrooms? Exactly. Oh, great idea. No, I think it's a wonderful idea. So Lynn, uh, do you have any thoughts on implementing games in a third grade classroom? Well, Brett, I agree with Don. I do think it's a great idea. I think the children would feel challenged and very rewarded if it's online, if they get a correct answer, that they feel instant reward, they know they're doing well, and they want to challenge themselves more. Um, it's fun. I know when I work, if I'm having fun, I want to, I want to learn more. I want to do more. I want to challenge myself more. So I completely agree. Using, using games in classrooms, I think, is a great tool to teach children and challenge them. Okay, great. So Trevor, do you have anything to add? I do. As a student, I am always looking forward to playing games in classes because I'm always more apt to learning and engaging myself in the discussion. Normally, it is easy to quote-unquote zone out when listening to a lecture because a lot of times your brain can only like hold so much when you're just listening to the same thing, I guess. But when you're challenging yourself and it's in a fun environment, you're more likely to kind of respond to what's happening and try harder in what you're doing. Very nice. Lynn, is there anything that you would like to learn more about this topic? Well, yes, Brett. I would love to know what type of games, you know, a, a good list of games that could be used um, for students online. I mean, typically I would think maybe math-stimulated games and that sort of thing, but I'm sure there's probably a wealth of information out there, and I would love to get my hands on that. Well, yes, there is. In fact, there is a site called Unity that teachers can go create their own games. So, Don, what do you think would be the best way that I could share my topic with the world? Wow, Brett, with today's technology, I mean, the sky's the limit. You've got social media that's out there. You've got uh, Twitter, Facebook, uh, creating, uh, create your own website. Uh, I mean... Uh, in just a short period of time, you're going to be able to reach uh, thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people in just a very short period of time to get your product out there. Uh, so yeah, sky's the limit. Uh, the internet and social media. That's awesome that you said that because I actually am creating my own website for this project so I can share it with everyone. And Trevor, do you have any other suggestions that I can do with this project? Well, yes. One thing you could do is you could kind of make your own game on Unity.com and distribute it to different classes throughout the United States. You can kind of do maybe an experiment to see lecture versus game and see how the kids adapt to the new way of learning and see which way they find more interesting while they learn and which way they learn better with. Great. Now Lynn, how do you think that these games will help these kids learn better? Well Brett, um, having three children, I have learned through my years that each child learns differently. 
some children learn better by hearing information. Other children learn better by reading information. And still other children, which I think is the best way to, to learn, is to see, hear, and do. And that's my best way of learning. And I think third graders would learn better, do better, if they actually have hands-on. So it's an interactive way of learning. So I think if the game gives them their feedback, they're actually working through the information, they're learning better. Hey Brett, I'd like to add on to what Lynn was uh, commenting on. Uh, Trevor touched base on something earlier that was really, really good, that uh, these are young minds, they're very impressionable, uh, and lectures can get very boring and you'll lose their, uh, their attention span very quickly. By doing a game, you allow them to be interacting uh, with other students possibly as well as the teacher and not just listening to the same old boring lecture. That's such a great answer. Do any of you think I can do something different with this project? Yes, Brett. I'm just wondering if you might could expand your research and maybe include special needs children in this experiment. That's a great question. I'll definitely be able to look into that more as I further my pro progress in this project. Uh, I haven't looked much into special needs ki uh, children or working with special needs children, but working with them will definitely advance my knowledge and understanding with this research project. Does anyone else have any suggestions? Well, Brett, what you could do is you could split the classrooms up into two different groups. One group would be guys and the other group would be girls. They would both be playing the same game and you could see how both each side reacts to the certain game they're playing. That's a great idea, Trevor. And Don, I see that you would like to add one more thing. Uh, to add on what Trevor was saying, uh, with the classroom separated with male and female, um, you may want to do a time response on this, just to see which gender may answer the questions uh, quickly, or more, uh, more in a timely fashion. Yeah, definitely. Well, I would like to thank you all for taking your time and interviewing me with this project. It means a lot. I've worked really hard and I've spent a lot of hours working and trying to finish this uh, because I feel really passionate about it. So Don, Lynn, Trevor, thank you one more time. And I would like to ask if you have any closing remarks uh, for my project. Uh I would like to say uh, congratulations on the project and uh, I know that you'll keep us abreast of the progress and I can't wait to see the finished project. I will definitely send it to you whenever I finish. Thank you all so much. Thank you, Brett. Thank you.